What's up, Turtle here, and today we have another Pokemon video. Today we're gonna do a PSA submission. Uh, so I sent my first 100 cards to PSA maybe like a few weeks ago, and it finally, they acknowledged that they received it. So at this point, I'm like, all right, at least I know that my cards are unlikely to get lost somewhere in the shuffle of getting there. And um, so now that we know that's, all right, let's send off our next batch. We probably won't get any of these back for, I don't know, three four five six months because we are going through their one of their bulk services the quarterly pokemania special all right so we have tons of cards to show here uh, i didn't even count it's in the hundreds and uh so I, let's just get right into it they're kind of all over the place and no particular order basically everything that is probably declared value less than a hundred it's like all right we'll just submit them now at the quarterly special rate and then we'll just save all the cards that are worth more than that and we'll send those later on all right beginning we're starting off with some hidden fates just going through the shinies basically anything i thought could be a 10 you know assuming like um that is something I actually want. I uh, just planning on sending it. So we got Inke, you got the Eevee, the Rainbow Birds. Actually, I want to talk about birds, a different art of the birds later on. And then we got some shiny GXs, Ninetales, Scarvor. Wouldn't mind uh, getting some more of these to send in. Ho oh, Kartana. And a random <laughs> E-series card, Blossom. So uh, anything that is not like, I don't know, 2019, 2020. I mean, very unlikely we'll get a 10. Uh, so I think I can send this in the book submission. I guess this maybe, the, actually this maybe could get a nine. But I think the declared value is fine. Not being over hundred. The first, actually first hundred cards I sent, uh, I think a lot of them will get dinged for like, not dinged, but uh, they'll charge me more because like, look, you submitted this under the wrong category. Uh, therefore you're gonna get charged extra. But uh, these I'm a little bit more uh, confident that I did correctly. All right, you're gonna see a lot of these guys. So you guys know I love Japanese promos and these screams is like top tier. When I first saw these, that they existed, I just went on even all right, how can I pick these up? And not surprisingly, the price has gone up quite a bit. So we have a Pikachu right here and I believe we have a couple copies for here. And again, these are, I didn't order these very well. Uh, basically going through my collections, all right, let's add these and then all right, let me add some more of these screams just so I get them all graded. A Red's Challenge from Unbroken Bonds. You know, not a very good card, but uh, has red on it, so I figured we'll get that graded. And uh, we have another Japanese promo, the Pancho Pikachu featuring Mega Charizard. Uh, this one, I think even if it got a 10, I, maybe this could be, they could say like declare value is over 100. All right, we got some Watsy stuff, base set. So base set, when it comes to like, if I kind of doubt we have any 10s, if 10s, like, hey, look, you have to pay extra for the 10, like, I'm sweet, <laughs> I, I'll take that. Uh, I imagine a lot of these are kind of like, maybe even like eights or nines or something, but this polygraph looks pretty good. But we do have some base set. We have Zapdos, moving on to jungle. I feel like base through fossil is kind of, and to some degree rocket is the most nostalgic for me. That was when, you know, I was definitely collecting as a kid the heaviest. And then this Wigglytuff is actually a, a no symbol, which is pretty cool. Moving on to fossil, we got the Magneton, Aerodactyl, another legendary bird, I'm not sure what that dot is. All right, moving on to rocket, we got a Weezing. All right, we do have two first editions, but it's just a Muck and a Weezing. Um, one of these was actually, I think the muck was in from the deck that you could get from the uh, theme deck as well. All right, still in fossil, we got Ditto, Articuno, a random base set to Hitmonchan. Okay, back to uh, this is Ultra Shiny Jacks, not Hidden Fates, as this is the Japanese printing. I feel like right now there's somewhat of a market for these. I'm not sure, kind of like once we get over this whatever potential bubble this all this hype that's going on right now um how that will kind of be because we won't get these cards for back for like i don't know four months uh, but we'll kind of play by ear i'm basically submitting the cards that i would probably keep anyway so we got a glacian basically we got a bunch of evolutions in here all right we got a this is the 108 out of 106 we got a secret rare mega charizard very cool a gold bulu two gold bulus <laughs> If you guys have been with the channel for a while, we pull whenever we pull gold cards out of Hidden Fates, there's like a 50% chance it'll be a Bulu. And if we pull a full art supporter, there's a 50% chance it'll be a hiker. 
All right, let's keep going. Oh, no. All right, these I think actually are already submitted or I typed them into the order. Uh, so I will have to make sure I got the order correctly. Hitmonchan, back to base set. Again, the order is going to be all over the place, but we got a few of these. Machamp, ah, oh, back. This is like the first thing we ever played with. The two-player starter deck thing, which uh, had Charmander and Machop. Uh, didn't have a Charizard, obviously, but did have the Machamp. And it's always first edition. Nido King from base. Ah, more Screams. You'll see a lot of these guys. So here we have the, um, the Eevee. The Rowlet, and then the Psyduck, so we have a random set. Back to E-Series, we got an Azumarill. <laughs> then back to Hidden Fates. Ooh, Darkrai, very cool. Now to some Primes, or one Prime, a random... So, uh, actually, if you guys remember, we've been doing like a bunch of like random mail days. These are just a lot of those like, hey, you know what, I can submit this to PSA. It's good enough condition. Bliss the E-Series. Back to some Hidden Fates, and then I bet if you go through our Hidden Fates opens, like, oh, this is from that opening, and this is from whatever, this opening. Got another Darkrai, a Legendary Collection Zapdos. I will admit, I don't know too much about the Legendary Collection. Um, never even opened the pack, they're so expensive. And we do have some reverses, uh, but then, you know, I'm not too familiar with how the Hollows are doing in the market. Base it to, I feel like that's the... If you just want something vintagey and cheap, the answer will always be base set two, and probably it's not the best prospect for future growth. I feel like base set two is just like the uh, the the middle child that no one cares about, I guess. Gyarados and a Poncho Pikachu. Oh, Japanese promo is so good. All right, we got some Neo cards. Magneton when they introduced the Steel type. Celebi and Pharos. Fortress, Hitmon Top. I think this is probably the first appearance of Hitmon Top, and I do like that art. Back to Ultra Shiny GX. Just some cool cards. There. Shiny Rayquaza. Bunch of these. Leafeon. Galissapod. And then a Ho Oh. Alright, we're maybe halfway through, so this, this is going to be a bit of a lengthy video. Alright, Lola Ninetales Greninja. So when this set came out, or when I first was aware of its existence. I think it was from a PokeTuber called Brace Gaming. And uh, he opened a bunch of these boxes. And then I basically went on eBay and said, like, all right, I need, I want the whole set. So we, not only do we have the master set of the Hidden Fates, uh, all the shinies and everything, but we actually have it for the Japanese as well. So I figured we'd get a bunch of it graded. Some gold cards. Unala, Sogaleo. This is a 2015, yeah, 2015 Battle Pikachu. These are always cool. Then we got a Mega Charizard. All right, Red's Pikachu, a uh, very cool card. Um, if you're into, want to dip your toe into Japanese promos, this is a simple place to start. I think, you know, I think when I picked them up, they're like eight dollars shipped from Japan, and I doubt the price has went up. Forever. I think if from the sound of, or from the my guess is like they've just printed a whole bunch of these. I don't know how they're distributed, but uh, they're pretty cheap. All right, this is from the uh, Tag Team Power Tag, whatever it was called, that <laughs> the box with the Espeon Deoxys alternate art as well as the Umbreon Darkrai. I actually tried to submit these in my first batch, but I actually couldn't find them. Ah, we got some screams again. These, these guys are going to keep coming up. More Pikachu screams. Basically, I kept going back to, all right, is there anything else I want to get graded while I'm at it? While I do have this quarterly special, I was like, all right, let's submit some more screen cards. Some more Rowlets, Psyducks, and then Eevees. All right, and that is our first stack. And we do have one more. Let's put this off to the side. All right, so at this point, we actually ran out of card saver ones, which PSA tells you to send them in with, and I couldn't find it. I can't find it. Amazon couldn't find it, like BC or B DCW, or whatever the website is. Uh, I could find card saver twos, which are bigger, 
And the only, actually, the only place I could find the card saver ones was from PSA, but the like the shipping was like $60. I was like, oh, forget that. So I did go with card saver twos. Now these are significantly smaller, significantly more difficult to get the card in and out. Uh, so a lot of people just kind of put like a tab thing that you could kind of tug on to help get the card out. So hopefully that will prevent any problems. And here we have another very cool, this is one of the Pokemon Center uh, when they open it, I think in Japan, they have very cool promos. This is funny, it's like a, Pikachu talk show or stand up? I'm not even sure. Then we have, I think this, is this like a Sakura Blossom Pikachu? Very cute. All right, back to Hidden Fates. I think this is our, from one of our most recent openings, a Lycanroc. This is, I believe, a tea ceremony. Uh, you might recognize this picture. We used to use this playmat for a lot of our videos. We got the, I think, Saito. Uh, I, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, still haven't seen the movie and I'm not too eager to, but I feel like it's really rare when you have like a actual IRL person in a card. So I figured, you know, we should have at least one of these in our collection. Gengar Prime, actually one of the more difficult cards to find. So even if this is this wasn't in great condition, I figure we'll still get it graded. Gengar E-Series, Gengar is one of the more popular Pokemon more legendary birds from hidden fates and we still have some more hidden fates ah here we go with some gx's another rainbow birds all right so in case if you guys didn't see our last pokemart you know these guys have become at least on tcg player seems like a lot of them have bought out so when i did pick up my uh raw copies for the, the entire set, I figured, you know what, these ones are probably good enough to be graded. Maybe I'll get like an 8 or something. Maybe we'll get a 9 here or there. My guess is mostly 7 or 8s. But we do have a bunch of these. And we got most of the arts. Another Rockets Mewtwo. This is cool. Uh, the picture is actually smaller because this is the first card, I believe, that had three attacks. Electro GX. Yes, there is no... <laughs> No order whatsoever going on here. And I believe this is still Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, I figured I'd pick up some of the hollows on TCG Player. The prices were pretty cheap considering that they're from 2010. And then when I got them, you know what? These are good enough to be graded. And the uh, cheapest bulk service makes sense. Can't imagine there's much of a market for these. But I do like that Magmortar. This reminds me of Mega Man. Shaman? Manaphy? And here we go back to Hidden Fates, your boy Guzma, Fisherman. Fisherman is one that I keep pulling whenever we would do so like the Korean boxes or the Japanese. We pulled a lot of Fisherman. Cynthia. And another Evolution. These are super high in price right now. Altaria. In regards to, you know, this is not a Pokemon episode, but I uh, was watching like a TCA video. And he kind of, he has like a lot of history, historical, um, data points from his own experience he was kind of saying that towards the summer is when things kind of drop off as people go on vacation uh, so maybe just the amount of money they spend on cards goes down uh, so you know definitely we, we missed the wave but uh, let's get our cards graded and evolutions is way up there as far as hidden fates uh, demand all right let's keep on with the hidden fates bunch of non gx's all right stained glass birds I think in a Pokemart where I was so confused about the price of the ETVs at the time, I believe it was a $6 card on TCG Player. I, as of the filming of this, they are completely sold out and they're going on eBay for like $30. That's so crazy. And the product costs 50 MSRP and then the promo without any of the packs is going for 30. So weird. All right, more primes. Absol I think a lot of these we do already have in like PSA 8 or 9 and I again I doubt we'll have any 10s from any of this older stuff but they are good enough condition to be graded. I am starting to get more and more fond of these primes as I look at them more and we do got some evolutions Yamega Celebi, Electrode. I think we already did some Don fans, but there's another one. Yeah, so some of these are repeating. Another Rainbow Birds. This is like, what, four Rainbow Birds sprinkled throughout this submission. And then some promos. Actually, when I looked through the promos that I had, a lot of them were 
kind of like off center so i had to find the ones that i feel like all right this is actually kind of well centered a random xy mewtwo but i love that art all right this is the last stack definitely my favorite art as far as reshizards go uh expedition charlotte very cool card but this is the reverse and then this Mewtwo Expedition is a non-holo altogether. And I think we'll wrap up with some Hidden Fates. Oh no, we're gonna wrap up with some screen promos. So then I was like, you know what? Uh, I still have more of these, but they're actually in the original uh, seal sleeve thing. Uh, so I figure, I think you can actually get those graded with the sleeve in it, but uh, you can't do it through this submission uh, level. So these were all the ones that were not in there. So I figured, you know what, let's just send the rest of our screams in there. A lot of these, because I picked these to not send initially, they're a little bit off center. So maybe a bunch of these, most of them, will probably get nines for centering issues. But during the quarterly special, I'm not sure how often they do it. How often do they have Pokemon ones? Uh, so might as well capitalize on this opportunity. So a majority of our screen protect screen collection, not including Mimikyu's because those go for crazy prices or would have to do like one of the better higher up services, we'll get them all graded now. All right, so that is our PSA submission. What we'll kind of a, this will be a bit of a time capsule video. Well, by the time we do our rewards or returns video, it'll probably be like six months from now. So we'll say goodbye to these cards for, <laughs> for quite a while and um, yeah, if uh, yeah, you actually if you know where to find those card saver ones, let me know in a comment down below because definitely once I start submitting some more expensive things, definitely want to send it in like the best way possible. So if you have any tips, any advice, let me know. Other than that, guys, that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.